Good morning. God bless you all. My name is Anno, and I'm coming to us today, 18th of June, 2024. I'm titling this being the foolishness of palliatives. The foolishness of palliative. God bless you. My advice is for those waiting for palliative. I want to thank God for something. I want to thank God for at least bringing me into this grant community because I've come to learn a lot of things here. As a minister of the gospel, I have learned a lot in this grant community and my eyes have been opened to so many things. So it's a blessing. And number two, I also want to thank God for bringing me to this grant community because it is through this grant community I understand what is plain in Nigerian government. You see, my brethren, for Nigerian to be better, it takes God. Through this grant, we have come to realize that tribal tribalism, self-centeredness, manipulations, and selfishness is the problem of this nation. Many people who go about insulting Tunubu today. If they have given the opportunity to, to be the president of this nation, they will do worse. But that one is, by the way, the stupidity, the foolishness of palliative. Poverty is a disease. Poverty limits a man financially and other way around. I never knew that poverty can affect the brain of people. Many men in this grant community, if they are not careful, their wife will leave them, will, will leave them and go and marry somebody else. Do you know why? Not because of anything, no, but because they don't have sense. You know, when a woman, the reason why a woman wants to stay with a man is because the man is wise and the man is protective. When you begin to see that the person you call your husband does not have sense, you will just you they will get frustrated and leave. Many people doesn't have sense. Those who are waiting for palliative, you are the ones I'm talking to. Now the, my question is, what is palliative? Before you start insulting people, taking side, laying courses, and so many things, ask yourself, what is palliative? Palliative can be defined as something, something given to you to cushion the effect of your suffering. What does it mean to cushion? To cushion means that to put, to reduce your suffering for some few time and later you continue with the same suffering. That is palliative. Is it worth waiting for? I saw a prayer group, they formed the prayer group and made me an admin for me to pray for palliatives. No, I can't pray for palliative. It is a sin against God. Praying for palliative is limiting God. Palliative is not a blessing. Palliative is never a blessing. Palliative is a kind of relief for some time. And you continue in your suffering. The most ridiculous of the palliative you are waiting for in grand communities that they have not even told you the kind of palliative. Now, you don't promise people palliative, no. You just tell them, because of this suffering you are suffering, I am giving you this. And you don't delay it. I won't be stupid enough to, to stand by somebody who promised me palliative. You are telling me that, yes, I am suffering. You want to relieve my suffering for some time for me to continue with the suffering. It doesn't make sense. I can't spend my time praying for you. Palliative is given to by people who are wicked. You can't go to America and you see them giving palliative. No. 
Palliative only comes in developed countries when there is war, when there is famine, when there is outbreak of disease, like what happened in COVID-19. When there is a challenge economically, that is when palliative is given. Not when everything is going well. It's only, it's only in a wicked nation that palliative is given when, when there is no disaster. That people are bound with poverty. So if you are waiting for palliative, your brain, something is wrong. I was added to a group to start praying for palliative. And I asked myself, what is the essence of praying for palliative? Even God does not work with palliative. When God wants to remove your suffering, he removes it permanently. It's only the, the devil, the wicked, that will relieve you and let you continue later. God don't work that way. So pray for such a thing is evil. In case we don't know. Then what is a grant? Grant is something given to you to establish yourself. And you don't pay back. That is grant. So if you're praying for grant, it's worth it. And please... Those of us who have been in the grants community for eight years, who are praying for grants community, praying for palliative, please let me open your brain. Let me take myself like a specimen. I spend a thousand naira every day for data. A thousand naira times 30, that is 30,000. 30,000 times 12 in a year, I, 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 I spent... 360,000 naira for, for data every year. Now, 360,000 times 12, times 8, for 8 years I've been, I've been downloading VN. I'll spend 2.8 2 million 880,000 naira. That is what I have spent for data for a year. Some of us spent more than a thousand naira for data. For me, I spend a thousand every day. So for that eight years, I have spent two hundred two million eight hundred and eighty thousand naira. So if you end up giving me three million naira as a as a grant. You did not give me grant. You still give me palliative somehow. But it's still better because you just pay me off. You just you just compensated me for the money I've spent so far. But you that you are crying, you are fighting, you are doing all kind of things, standing in the back of, a peop of people who have promised you palliative. Did you bother to ask yourself how much have you spent for eight years? You have been in the system. This 2.2 million 880 I just calculated is for that alone, not for the expenses. As a as as a bond holder, during Sam I spent over 500,000. During Tepecom I spent over 500,000. During Elm El Commonwealth I spent over 300,000. During Tiobat I spent over 200,000. That one is by the by the way. We are talking of data alone. Somebody will now come and give me hundred thousand and say that is want to give me palliative, and I will be having sleepless nights. I will be fasting and praying for such person. Is that not stupidity? Some men, their wife is supposed to take cane and flock them and chase them away from the house because they have lost their senses. Can we be so daft? Waiting for palliative. So the reason why somebody said, uh, Admin Rio, he said, uh, let uh, 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 UAG disburse their disbursement and let AGPJ disburse their assumed palliative. It is not assumed. It was promised two months ago. Abdul came out and made it clear. Now, the demonic palliative that you want to receive, you don't even know the amount. Palliative is one thing that you can never... Nobody protests over palliative because it is what it is widely known. All Everywhere in the world, it is known as something to cushion the effect of suffering. So, palliative can be tanky. 
palliative can be one key. Palliative can be 50 key. Palliative can be 100 key. If you are lucky, you have 200 key. What will 200 k do? Did you calculate the money you spent for data alone? Before you are fighting for 200 k, 100 k, 50 k. For those of us who don't have sense, I'm speaking sense to you. I am not supporting anybody, but I'm telling you, I can't support anybody at this time of life. I can't stand and be defending somebody at this time of life that promised me palliative. I'll be so stupid. And you fighting UAG, expecting me to join you. I won't be stupid enough. UAG has not told me they don't have money. Whenever I go to UAG, pay me my money, they will tell me the process is on. You don't fight a thing that has not yet been established. The people who promised me palliative said the process is on. UAG said the process is on. Then why am I fighting UAG? They came out and said, Apostle Ken is a thief. Apostle Ken is that. Apostle Ken is this. My question is, when they came to Grand Community, do they have a car? Where did they get a car from? Many people came to Grand Community with houses and cars, and now they have nothing. But some people came to the community without a car, and now they are driving big, big cars. And you are accusing other people for stealing. Does money comes from the grand, the grand community? As far as I'm concerned, for eight years, nobody has the right to have a bicycle. Because no money has been disbursed. As long no money has been disbursed, and the two sides are promising, telling us it's the process, then the two sides are enemy until somebody pays. And anyone that end up paying palliative is the biggest enemy because that one wants me to remain in poverty.